Parshat Kitavo, 5782. Yihiratzon, the Limud, should be the refuad, Ben Sima, Betoch Kol Shar Chole Israel. Bezrat Hashem, Kitavo El Aretz, Kitavo, the Parsha that we're in, um, has a lot, a lot of difficult things to deal with, the Klalot. Um, and the brachot, but there's an area in the parsha that I think will start to begin to get us ready for Rosh Hashanah. The Mishkan was a very silent place. The Mikdash was very loud. In Beit Mikdash, there was music and there was tefillah. In the Mishkan, there is no music and there is no tefillah. But there is one or a few things that we do say in the Mishkan. Vidui Masrot Mikra Bikurim. Those are the vocal experiences of the Mishkan. And in this parsha, we have the story of Mikra Bikurim, the, the story of bringing your first fruits to Beit Mikdash. And this vocal experience of thankfulness and awareness to Hashem for what we've received is something that we need to analyze and learn. The Bikurim are the first fruits. And that's why they're called Bikurim from the word Bechor, just like a Bechor is the first. Bikurim is the first fruits. And what we have to recognize is an appearance that within the world of Judaism, Beginnings are the most celebrated thing in our calendar. The beginning of the month is called Rosh Chodesh. The beginning of the year is called Rosh Hashanah. The beginning of the week for man was created at the end of the sixth day is called Shabbat. The first moment of the day is called Vatikin. The first born is called Bechor. The first word of the Torah is called Breshit, which is beginnings. And so we're a, we're a religion that really celebrates beginnings. And Moreno Verabeinu Reb Tzadok Akon Melublin really wants to understand this and develop it in his first piece in Sikar Tzadik. And the appearance is something that is obvious, but the reason is something that we could contemplate with. And I want to just try and offer one reason why we celebrate beginnings. And the way that we want to try and explain it is that really beginnings are not special. If we come to graduation and we throw the hats in the air, why are we throwing those hats in the air? Because we went through four years of extreme work. So we're celebrating our accomplishment. If anyone remembers the tears of Michael Jordan when he got his trophy again, in the championship, the tears were a result of extreme effort. And so if you want to celebrate the end, I'll agree with you, because it's what you accomplished. But the beginning, firstborn, you haven't educated that kid. You haven't gotten them through adolescence. You haven't taught them how to become their own person and affect the world in their own way. The beginning of the year, you haven't done anything. What are you celebrating? The beginning of the month, you haven't done anything. So why are you so excited to say hello? And I think that exactly the question is the answer. That if we're celebrating accomplishments, then beginnings are insignificant. But if we're celebrating the ability to want, then we need to celebrate beginnings. Beginnings are the time where we recognize that we're not defined by our actions and we're not defined by our mistakes or even by our accomplishments. We're defined by our ability to free our minds, to think different, to think special, to think new. And that's Mikra Bikurim, the one vocal experience of Beit HaMikdash that we get to go into Beit HaMikdash and realize 
that we're celebrating our opportunity to look at something new and understand that there's so much unknown. And therefore, we want to free our perspective of ourselves. We want to stop enslaving ourselves to certain mindsets. And as we get closer and closer to Rosh Hashanah, and we, Mamash now in the middle of the month, we have Chai Elul Bezrat Hashem to celebrate the, the birth of the Baal Shem Tov. We have to be able to really enable ourselves to free our minds, to stop living in boxes, and to stop preventing ourselves from looking in a new way into the endless opportunities. And I think that that's one of the reasons why we really celebrate beginnings as the potential to let go of what is and try to envision what could be.